crime under investigation in Suffolk County. Police say a school bus driver sexually uh, abused a child, a girl, several times for more than a year. Yeah, detectives are now putting the word out to see if there are any other victims of this. And Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu is live in Bayshore with more. Janice. Hi guys, yeah, detectives say this actually went on for close to a year and a half. Now the uh, bus company that he was employed by, that is Suffolk Transportation, they say that they have been told by police that the crimes do not have anything to do with him being employed as a bus driver. Now Miguel Enrique Diaz was arrested last night at his home. He's charged with one count of sexual conduct against a child and two counts of endangering the welfare of a child. Diaz appeared in front of a judge today with his family in the courtroom with him. Now, according to Suffolk Transportation, Diaz started working for the company in November of 2022 and started his bus route in Bayshore in September of 2023. We're told he drove students at Bayshore Middle School and Brook Elementary School. Now, authorities say between May 2022 and October of 2023, Diaz allegedly sexually abused a girl multiple times. That victim is now 13 years old. Detectives started investigating after a community therapist reported the abuse earlier this month. Now, none of the parents we talked to earlier today say they heard anything about the arrest, but of course they were horrified to learn the details. A bus driver doing that to a student is super disgusting and unacceptable because as a parent, we, you know, we trust the bus drivers that are bringing our children to and from school to know that they're going to be safe no matter what. Well, the Bayshore School District shared the letter they sent to parents. It reads in part, we have been notified by the Suffolk County Police Department that all incidents of alleged abuse did not occur on district property, within district buildings, or on buses transporting students for the district. The district has taken immediate action to ensure the employee of Suffolk Transportation will no longer participate in providing any driving duties for the district. Now, we are told by Suffolk Transportation that Diaz has been suspended without pay and detectives are asking if there is anyone who thinks their child may have been a victim to please contact them so that they can investigate.